What's going on YouTube? Uh, so today I'm gonna be installing some new wheels on the coupe. Um, we'll get to that later, but right now me and my little sister, we're here picking up my brother. You can subscribe to her channel. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, she makes a bunch of like nice car videos and other videos as well, but she, she mainly does a lot of my racing videos. Um, so yeah, go check her out for you soccer fans out there um, you guys should subscribe too because later on when I get like a try is it tripod yeah tripod maybe I'll post some soccer videos um, but yeah later on today we're gonna be installing some wheels on my car uh, I also ordered some um, upper control arms or front camera kits for the car as well because I don't know if you guys remembered, I had some like temporary knockoff brand or unknown brand uh, camera kit in the front and they're a little scary. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be replacing those and get an alignment soon uh, with the new wheels and tires. So stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and play some indoor soccer today because we don't work, we're a bunch of bums. Um, but yeah. We're gonna go do that, and hopefully my lower control arms will come in sometime today. Put your seatbelt on, dude. You put your I'm just kidding, I don't have my seatbelt on, but it's because he only lives around the corner. All right, so we're here now at the indoor soccer field, uh, Resolute, here in uh, North Columbus. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll make a couple videos here, and. All right, so we just got done playing uh, soccer at Resolute. Uh, we're about to head to the shop to get the front windshield replaced on the EG. And then, let's see, what else do I need to do? I need to pick up my wife's car from getting detailed. And hopefully by then the upper control arms are back in or back at home. Oh, yo, yo, so we're over here getting my new windshield put in. gonna be pretty sweet. Oh yeah. There it is. There you go. Shout out to my dude Ramirez Auto Glass. Hit him up. Good service. Oh my gosh, look how clear this is. But oh my goodness. So much better, it makes a world of a difference. Okay, so we just got home and uh, we have the package that came in today. My upper control arms or my front camera kits, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open them for you guys. Voila. Blocks. I'll put some door arms. Hmm, sorry, this is really hard trying to do with one hand. That here. Um. <sighs> <Okay>. <sighs> Blocks. What's up? Paper storms with the competition ball joints. You can see here they got the uh, hole for washer going on so yeah that's that and if you guys want to order some parts I'll uh, 
I'll put his link uh, down below in the description. Yeah, so I got these uh, from Revline Motors for a really good uh, price. You want to hit up his website or message him on Facebook. Um, it's R E V L I N E Revline Motors. So one thing I like about these uh, competition um, upper control arms or a camber kit, they have this um, plate right here that is designed to attach all four bolts together. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the like the original style, but they have the bolts uh, sitting right on top of this uh, gray piece right here, and it would it it just come with like a little washer. And um, sometimes if you tighten them too much, they'll kind of fall into the hole. And I didn't like that. Um, it looked really unsafe. So I went ahead and got these uh, competition style, which are a lot um, beefier and in my opinion, a lot safer. Alrighty, so for you, those of you that um, wanna use eBay parts here, is what I was talking about. You see they're slowly falling through the lines. Yeah, this thing was on the verge of popping out and screwing up my whole fender and heck, even worse, getting into a car accident. Um, but yeah, you do not want this thing to break off. So I went with the competitions. Jump. What's going on? Okay, so today is another day. We just uh, finished installing the upper control arms. Uh, just got the car aligned, and today is my first drive uh, on the car. Actually, before I went to go get an alignment, I had an issue with a fuel pump. Uh, so I got that replaced, and now I'm driving the car. Um, so just a little, uh, I guess, review of my car. Uh, so far the car drives nice, uh, straight and everything. Uh, car's a little loud, uh, sorry about that, but uh, I can't really do much today only because it's raining and uh, it's got power, so it spins. First gear and second gear wheel hops like crazy. Uh, I will need to do something else with my suspension and probably get a traction bar. Uh, but here's a little video of the car in first, second, maybe even third gear. So as you can see, the car wheel hops like crazy. Um, but hopefully I can get some uh, better suspension uh, either sometime this week or maybe a traction bar. Uh, I mean, obviously it's not gonna perform too well because of the rain. And I do have some uh, summer tires on it right now. Um, but either way, suspension and traction bar is a must. Alrighty, so for those of you that have been waiting to see what wheels I've got, um, they're not the greatest wheels, but they make it a whole lot better. They make the car look a whole lot better. So here she is. Some nice little LS meshes, local pickup. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've also got a uh, SIR clear corner lights that I installed.
just to let you guys know um, these wheels are temporary they are most likely my winter set um, obviously during the summer I will get uh, a better set of wheels um, I actually have a set of Rota slips with uh, they only have Mickey Thompson Mickey Thompson's on it right now but That's it for today's episode. Uh, if you guys ever wonder how I get to buy all these car parts and build a K-Series, let me show you a little something. That's your best friend. There's your best friend. And if you wanna get a little fancy like me, throw a little egg in there. Bang! Make it a little better, throw some sriracha in there. Got a little egg in there. Come on guys, save some money. Build race cars. <laughs>